Hello everyone and welcome to video number four uh, for FoodPress, how to activate, enable, and use the online ordering add-on for the FoodPress plugin. Let's get started first by visiting the myfoodpress.com website and you will go to the add-ons page and you'll notice that we have two add-ons. Uh, the one we're going to focus on right now is the online ordering. Our online ordering program uses WooCommerce uh, to integrate our menu items into their shopping cart system. So you need to have WooCommerce installed in order to use the FoodPress online ordering add-on. Uh, once you go to WooCommerce.com, you have that installed and activated, uh, and then you have your WooCommerce pages installed. Uh, then you can then activate our plugin at the, I'm sorry, purchase install and activate the plugin at your uh, plugins dashboard. You'll see here I already have it activated. Um, you can then go to the food press tab here and add-ons and licenses. You'll see um, obviously my license is not activated because I don't have to activate it. Um, I developed it. Also the online ordering um, license here is letting me know that I do have it. So. Um, everything is, uh, once you have it, it'll let you know. If you want the single menu item, it'll take you to that item. So let's get started with the menu items and show you how to activate a standard product. So um, I've already made one, and I will click on that to show you kind of how, you know what, I'm just going to make a new one and show you how to create a standard product. So let's go to Add New. And just like a regular menu item, I'm going to add um, some sort of steak. Yeah. Sorry guys, I'm looking all over on both screens here to make sure I got everything lined up for this uh, tutorial. So I've got my full description, my short description. I'm gonna scroll down here. I don't need any additional text. Um, my price and online ordering. This is a section here. You'll see this if you have the online ordering add-on enabled. So I don't even need to enter a price, but for, for the tutorial sake, I'm just gonna enter $15. I want to enable WooCommerce online ordering for this menu item. So here we go. If you go to a products page for WooCommerce, you'll notice the same fields, um, very similar in their back end as well, which we'll get there once we uh, publish this item. So again, I'm gonna enter my $15. It's not on sale. Um, I really don't have a SKU. If you need to um, track items for your restaurant or um, uh, I guess determine if you have something, maybe like a 16 ounce steak and a 24 ounce steak, you could always enter like 16 um, OZ, just so you know what size the steak is. Um, you should know in the up here, you know, you might want to label 16 ounce Salisbury steak or in your description even, but just in case when that order does go through and whoever's processing the payments for the orders and stuff, they know to send your kitchen the order for a 16 ounce steak. Um, so for this example, I'll put that there. Uh, manage stock, yes or no. I could put 20 in here if I only have 20 available. Um, this is you know a restaurant item, so I'm not gonna run out of steaks, or at least I hope not. Um, sold individually. So for instance, if you're selling a bottle of wine in, at your restaurant and you only have one available, and you only have one in stock, or you, you only wanna sell one at a time, you can then enable this field to sell it individually. Um, maybe it's a Christmas special and you only want someone to purchase one of those items. So um, back orders, I really don't know of any use for this on this example. Um, it's just kind of pulled here from the WooCommerce system and then check stat or the stock status is saying it's in stock. So um, again, multiple options. The one you really need is just the price um, and the SKU possibly. Spicy level for our steak, I'm gonna go to three. I don't really care about the nutritional information. It's a big bloody steak, so um, have fun. I'm gonna put uh, maybe a couple ingredients here. 
There you go. Meat, salt, pepper. All right, I'm gonna set our featured image. And I know this is not a Salisbury steak, but I'm just gonna set it there. Okay, it's a dinner item. And you know what? I actually wanna offer this as well on our lunch menu. So I'm gonna show our Salisbury steak on our dinner and our lunch menu. And let's see here, the dish type. Oh, look at that, we have steaks. Um, if I did have something else I wanted to put it under, like appetizers, I could do that. You know, maybe someone wants to eat a 16 ounce steak as an appetizer um, and some other portion for their main meal. Um, also, here we go for the location like we previously, previously did on video three. Um, I want this steak to be at all my locations. So if I didn't, if I was creating a location menu on the front end, I would need all these created or checked. Um, or if I just was doing a California kitchen menu, then I would just select California kitchen. Um, but I want this item to be available at all my locations or all my restaurants um, at that price of $15 that I have set. So I'm going to head and publish this item. There we go, it's published. Um, I'm going to scroll back down really quick. You don't have to do this, but once you publish an item, you can see here that you have an option to further edit the product. Uh, I'm going to click that. This will then take you to the WooCommerce product page. Uh, you'll notice over here on the side, it'll, it goes directly under products and everything here, um, you know, the, the SKU number, the price, and the title have all been populated for you, so your product is ready to go. Um, the only thing that you will have to change currently in this version of our add-on is the product category. Um, you know, we can add a new product here, um, whatever you want to do. This is basically just for the WooCommerce system, so it doesn't really matter for your, your menu system, but if you're trying to track and show different product categories on your homepage, um, if you have a WooCommerce website, uh, this might come in handy to uh, organize by stakes or just show stakes on the product page. But uh, here's the description for the product. I'm just gonna copy and paste the one I did for the actual product itself. Uh, the product data, we're gonna leave that as simple right now because uh, we don't really have any options for that right now. If I wanted to set up a variable product, which I'll do in the next video, um, we could have a steak um, we could call it New York steak or New York strip steak. Then I could create a variable product and give it a 16 ounce size, a 24 ounce size, an eight ounce size. So you can have options for the user to select what size steak they want. And then that um, variable would have its own price tied to it. So that will come in handy. But for now, this is a simple product with just a SKU, a price, description, and the name. Um, currently, as well in our add-on, uh, for some reason, our featured image is not being carried over from the main add-on, so I'm just gonna add the same image again uh, for, for this demo video, and I'm gonna update that. So, uh, let's go to our pages here real quick, and let's add a new page, and we're just gonna call it Simple Product, okay? and I'm going to enter a short code. Now, I only have one WooCommerce or online order menu item available, so I'm just gonna enter a single menu item. And, okay, here we're gonna see it's asking for the menu item ID. Um, obviously, we don't have anything here to show you what that is, so in the meantime, what I'm gonna do is click on my menu items and open that in a new tab so I can see where that Salisbury steak is. You'll see here as well, unfortunately, there's no ID for that meal I or menu item. If I hover over it though, or click on it, which I'm just gonna click on it, you'll see on this page, it's calling it post 961. That is my ID. So if I go back to my simple product, click on single menu item, and I type in 961. This page is only, only going to show that online um, order item for this specific menu item. Um, 
Then we have options, text only, info over image, info under image, info next to image. Um, let's do the standard info next to image. And our interaction will be to open the light box. I'm gonna click that, I'm gonna hit publish. Maybe, there we go, must not hit it. Hit publish and then I can then view that page. And there we go. Uh, my settings are a little different because I have some CSS or style settings set for single menu items. Obviously it's a green background. Um, this is not typical. Your standard plugin will come with the gray background um, and the gray hover. Uh, this is just for demo purposes that I've changed it. So you'll see if I then click m to read more or click anywhere on this item, my pop-up appears. You get the title again, just like the regular menu, but you'll notice at the bottom now we have the online or the order online uh, ability. So let's see here, I wanna order three steaks and I'm gonna add that to my cart. And there we go. Um, one thing to note as well, this button here, the color, these buttons here, the color, everything, the colors here, you have the ability to change. Again, this is just for the demo purpose. Um, I could have made it look more beautiful, but just to show you that all these options are changeable and can be any color you want, I went ahead and did that. So uh, let's go ahead and click view cart because I just want to make sure that added my item to the cart. And here we go, we've got my 16 ounce Salisbury steak. The price is $15, the quantity is three. Obviously it's calculating it because it's using WooCommerce's shopping cart. Um, again, you know, I set up default options inside WooCommerce. Uh, local pickup, if a customer is gonna come pick it up, it's free. Um, delivery is a $10 charge. So, you know, it's calculating. These settings are all set up on your own within WooCommerce. So if you don't know how to set up the back end of WooCommerce, I do suggest looking at their documentation or you know just kind of uh, educating yourself on their system as well because our system does rely on theirs to actually process your order. So again, I'm gonna go back to the basic simple menu real quick and I'm gonna show you that uh, even though I made that a, uh, a WooCommerce item or a, an online order item, this basic menu is showing all our menu items again. And here it is with the, the default style. It doesn't have to be uh, called out for anything. So these could all be ordered online. Um, I could call this page, you know, order online now. Um, I could then even use a categorized menu to separate steaks, um, salads, soups. Uh, again, I click on this. I still have the same window, my, my light box, and the ability to add items to my cart. And again, I just added nine more to my three. So again, it's just using the basic WooCommerce shopping cart. Uh, let's show you another categorized menu. This one here, it's not gonna have our steak. I don't think, did I add that? Yes, I did. It's under appetizers. If you remember in the video, I did add it to the appetizers under our dinner menu. So again, these could all have the online ordering ability added. This is the one that I added. You can see here's a couple steaks. Um, and the reason it's showing up here under here twice, this is my appetizers dish type, and this is my steaks dish type. I selected it to be under both. Um, why? I don't know, just to show you that it would work. So if I had macaroni and cheese under my appetizers, I could also have macaroni and cheese, the same thing under my entrees if I if I felt like it. So whatever category you select, they'll show up in. And again, here's our window, add the cart. I'm just gonna check out. Just the basic WooCommerce system is telling you what we have in our cart. Pretty basic, PayPal, cash on delivery. Uh, WooCommerce does offer a, a multitude of payment gateways. So feel free to educate yourself again with their system. Uh, like I said, it is required to use our online ordering add-on. Um, I'm gonna take you back to the dashboard really quick and just show you how easy it is to change your existing food press menu items to WooCommerce. Um, 
over here in this column, you'll see that it says Woo. Um, basically, that's WooCommerce for our uh, abbreviation. You'll see here that the Salisbury steak is a WooCommerce item. You'll see that I made the standard product earlier, it was a pizza, um, a WooCommerce item as well. So let's look at this, the barbecue, barbecue square ribs. I don't know why they're not called spare ribs. Um, it says it's not a WooCommerce item. Well, I wanna sell that on my website. So let's click on that to edit it. I'm gonna scroll down and you'll now see here, oh, enable WooCommerce commerce ordering. So the price is $25. I'm just gonna go ahead and enter my price. And then we're gonna go back up here to update. And we're just gonna make sure that I've verified the save. It's enabled, it's $25, and I wanna edit that product. Just like before, you have your title. Um, here's the description for the item. This will be displayed on a WooCommerce product page. This is not the menu item. So if you want something separate here, if you're allowing your customers to go to a WooCommerce product page, it's not gonna display the same as the menu items uh, pop up. Uh, for instance, I'm gonna show you what the WooCommerce product page looks like. Here it is. You'll, you've probably seen this screen if you've used WooCommerce before. There's no image, I haven't uploaded it. Here's the title and the category food press item and here's the product description. If for some reason you're allowing your customers to uh, get to these WooCommerce product pages, then you'll wanna make sure you, you enter all this information for these items. So this would be my description for my, um, it says streak, oh, for my uh, barbecue ribs. And um, simple product, $25. Um, you know, again over here, you can select what product. Again, this is basically a product category, guys. This is not using anything with food press. Um, this is again, if you're letting customers get to the product pages um, from the shopping cart and, and stuff like that. So you may want to categorize and set it up how you want, but technically there's no need to do that. Um, again, the featured image, uh, it's already set on our system. But again, if you want, for some reason, if they want to view that product, you'll now see that here's a picture on the WooCommerce product page that they developed. Here's the description, here's the category, and here's the ability to add to cart. So if you like the look and feel of our menu and our add-ons, then you, know, you can use it from an actual menu. Uh, if you're using WooCommerce, uh, have fun. Um, you may need a WooCommerce theme, but you know, here's all the options here. Here's our ribs. And you'll see now it's enabled for online ordering. I'm gonna view my cart. There we go. So it's pretty basic guys. Next video will be a variable product. Maybe I'll make a pizza with different toppings or a steak with uh, a different ounce size um, with different prices. So with that said, um, we'll see you next time.